In this video I'm going to talk about your store preferences, um, which is how we can change what's shown in what's called the meta title, which is what appears up here, and the description when it appears in search engines. So to get here we just go to online store on the left and then down to preferences. So at the moment you can see that this title on the page at the top here is set to my store page. Now just to illustrate, if I change the title here and hit save and then refresh this page, you'll see that it has changed from just Ollie's Pet Shop, if I hover over here, to My Online Shop, followed by Ollie's Pet Shop. So the reason that we might want to change this for search engine optimization um, I might want to change that to, you know, dog uh, pet supplies or whatever to make it more relevant for search engines. But this is where you change this and this is where you change your description. This is what shows up in search engines. Um, and that's not a useful pet shop, is it? There you go, pet shop. Um, this is this is what this text is here that appears in search engines. These are organic listings here. So this text that shows underneath, this is the title that I've just changed to my online shop here. And then this is the description. So that's, that's where you would specify these. So you need to make these, this needs to be relevant for your, um, for your kind of what you sell. There. And then the description, something obviously, if, if you don't put anything here, Google will, will pull stuff automatically from your home page. This is where you install your Google Analytics tracking tag. Now I will do a separate video, video just covering setting up tracking for both Google Analytics and Google Ads. But this is where you'll paste that code here and then it's pretty good. It's it's pretty good. That it, it kind of works pretty much out of the box for Shopify. It's really easy once you know what to do. Um, your Facebook pixel will go here so that you can track um, track events and track act track activities on your website if you're doing uh, Facebook ads. Um, and this is where you remove your password. So at the moment, I can see my shop. I can see my shop because it's my shop. If somebody else were to to take this link and um, let's see if I do it as an incognito window. It should, it should come up. I um, don't think it will recognize that it's me. There we go. It, you need to have, um, it won't let you in. You have to, you have to use that password that's set, that's set here in order to, to get into the, to the store. So you can change that password or remove it here. You have to actually come off the truck. Well, you'd be still be in trial, but you have to pick a plan, a paid plan before you, you can remove that, that password. Um, but that's fine. I mean, you obviously, once you decide to launch your store, you'll have to do that. But while you're still working on it, there's no need to mess with that. So those are your store preferences. Probably the two most imp the, the, the most important ones here is the Google Analytics and then getting your home page title. So that's um, that's one thing that you need to have a think about and get that set up.